1986, a flawed reactor at the Chernobyl power plant in Ukraine exploded. Two power plant workers were killed that night, and 28 died shortly after from acute radiation poisoning. This was an accident, a result of an unsafe and unnecessary use of nuclear power. But it's not always an accident. On August 6, 1945, America dropped the world's first ever atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan. The explosion killed 80,000 people, wiping out 90% of the people in the city. Three days later, the U.S. dropped another bomb on Nagasaki and killed another 40,000 people. These bombs initially killed 12,000 people in four days, but an uncountable amount of people in the generations to come have been and are affected by radiation-induced cancer, DNA mutation, and even food shortages due to soil that can't sustain crops. To this day, we still use nuclear energy as one of our main power sources, with little to no more precaution to prevent Chernobyl-like incidents. But there are safer solutions, and Kumi Naidu of Greenpeace is working to better our energy systems. Naidu was born in 1965 in Durban, South Africa. He is the first African leader of Greenpeace. He became an activist at 15, and currently he is the International Executive Director of International Environmentalism. In the 70s and 80s, he was involved in the fight against apartheid, and then became the Secretary General of the Global Call to Action Against Poverty. We have a simple choice to either be part of the problem or part of the solution. By being neutral in the face of injustice, I would say that's a choice to be part of the problem. I do and Greenpeace believe that we can only end this issue if we shut down all the nuclear power plants and replace the power with safe alternatives such as wind and solar, which are also less expensive than nuclear energy. Offshore wind in the North Sea alone could produce nearly twice enough electricity to meet needs of neighboring countries, and more solar energy falls on the Earth each day than all of its inhabitants would use in 27 years. Solar-generated power can provide the current world with enough energy 10,000 times over. We share the same food, we share the same water, we share the same literature, culture, and most importantly, we share the same world. So why do we choose to destroy the environment and each other? What is this force that gives us the capability for destruction? Nuclear power. By making nuclear power and weapons available, we are promoting violence and destruction on a larger scale than the human race has ever witnessed before. This large-scale destruction is directed towards not only human life, but also the environment. Using nuclear energy is merely a temporary solution to the energy crisis. We need to focus our ideas, technology, and money towards finding the permanent solution. We can cut off this issue before it escalates into something that we cannot fix.